we have just arrived at Fantastic Hastings and it, the sun has come out, which is amazing in itself. We've already met quite a number of people who have come to say hello to us, which is brilliant. Um, come and had a look at the stall, we've got our van out, we've been showing people around the California. It's a really, really great day. I'm eyeing up the uh, curry stall. Ah, oh, the curries are great. There's some incredible vans here, which is absolutely awesome. We're right in the centre of Hastings as well, which is great. So we were able to uh, wander into the old town and have a look. But um, we haven't had yeah, a chance. We haven't yet. had time yet, so maybe <laughs> we'll get a chance, but we shall see. But uh, yeah, it's been a great turnout. So let's go and have a look around. just uh, arrived here the music stopped for a bit and uh, the atmosphere is fantastic here but I'm just chatting to Richard here about his uh, his van and he's going to explain the uh, story behind it all so this is uh, Huey's Red Fire Bus and um, the the story behind it is that my uh, son whenever we <laughs> 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 Ringing the bells. <laughs> That's all right. No, it's fine. That's all right. Uh, right, take two. Yes, yeah, so this is Huey's Red Fire Bus. Um, the story behind it is that um, my son, Huey, um, whenever I picked him up from nursery or we went anywhere, we used to always drive past this, this van, as he called it, the Nino camper van. And he gets so excited um, about going past it, literally for miles in advance, he'd be going, Dad, are you ready? Are you ready for the Red Nino camper van? and uh, it was always parked up in the same spot. Um, unfortunately, in 2016, my son Huey, he passed away suddenly. Um, at, he was only three years old, he passed away suddenly of a brain hemorrhage. And um, the one thing always stood out to me was how much he loved this, this van, um, to the point where actually it was this van that led his funeral procession. He was car obsessed, even at the age of two, he knew all the cars, any make, from, uh, I don't know, from Morris Miners to Lamborghinis, to Land Rovers, to, to, to camper vans, he, he knew them all. And we asked um, Pete, the original owner, to, to lead his procession. Um, but I did say on that day um, that if he ever considered selling it um, to give us a shout. When Huey passed, people started donating money for a cause, of which we didn't know what that cause was for, but they were donated money on, you know, on Huey's behalf. And we decided to put that money towards a play park. Um, unfortunately, we didn't quite have enough money to buy land and to set the play park up, and it was a very expensive business um, to sort of get into, and we'd have to pay for the upkeep on a yearly, yearly basis. And, um, we were questioning literally on this day of what we were going to do and I walked around the corner to go down to the shop and I saw Pete and he said unfortunately he'd been suffering some ill health um, and he was looking to sell the, the van and he wanted to give us first refusal. Well, I went back and talked to my wife and we, um, we twisted we, some arms. Twisted some arms. <laughs> we came up with some ideas and and we uh, agreed a price to buy the van off of him uh, uh, and, and with that in mind our, our, our idea is and I suppose it really is now because here we are is to go out and about to events and, and raise money for charities fantastic and, and here we are on the uh, um, a fantastic the Autism Awareness Day uh, today we've got some plans for the summer we're going to have a, a little uh, under fives play area outside on the grass with some climbing frames and a fireman's pole and with the, with the view that throughout the sort of next few years uh, we're going to go out and about and raise money for children's charities fantastic to the point where I'll do a quick uh, shout out out for Huey's Supercar Sunday which is on 1st of July and um, we've got about a hundred supercars going to Hastings on the stage. That's going to be for the Demelza Children's Hospice we're raising money for that day and this will be private place down there as well. Brilliant, so that's in Hastings is it? Yeah so that's you... in Hastings on the seafront down in Hastings, the stade open space. Right, but well, we won't be able to miss uh, that many supercars, I'm sure. It's so, be quite impressive. And if people want to find out what, uh, where your um, the Red Fire Bus is going to be, how do they how do they go about finding that? Yeah, we've got an Instagram page, Huey's Red Fire Bus. Uh, so just uh, check us out and follow us on Instagram. 
um, and all the details are always on there of where we are and out and about and you'll also be able to follow the developments with the bus building the sort of play area as well we've got a guy who works on the amazing spaces is on telly on channel 4 Robin Johnson give you a quick shout out <laughs> he's going to be helping us build some uh, pretty cool climbing frames and that for the van fantastic so I'll put a link uh, in the description to uh, say again the uh, Instagram name it's Huey's Red Fire Bus Huey's Red Fire Bus fantastic well thank you very much for your time yeah, no worries thanks a lot thanks Cheers. guys Renata from Footloose Crafters has just given us an amazing sticker. She's filming it now herself. <laughs> and Rob as well, he's out there. Thank you so much, that's brilliant. <laughs> Hello! Hello. <It's> a vlogger. <laughs> So cool. That is brilliant. What a, he's genuinely the nicest man as well. Fantastic. Great Real great cause that as well. So Don't forget to head over to their to uh, his Instagram Please channel, do, but that is great. Yeah. Uh, so what have you thought of the day? I've loved I've loved it. It's been so good. We've met so many really nice people. The organizers are the nicest people. So yeah, we'll be back we'll be back next year. Definitely. We're gonna try and bring our friends and uh, yeah. The whole of this event was really important because it was raising money for Autism Sussex, which is a great charity, one that we really highly support. And we were absolutely privileged to be here. It was really good of the organizers to ask us to come. And it has been such a good day. And I hope they've raised loads of money and loads of awareness for Autism Sussex. More people need to come to this. It's a really good cause. So definitely, definitely check it out.